programming is a language we speak to the computer to get it to understand what we want it to do. You just wrote your first Python program. It's not that hard. Just like in any real world language, every language has sort of um, letters, right, in the alphabet. You can't write essays and paragraphs and sentences unless you know the actual alphabet and the words and the grammar. In Python, just like in real math, you have things called operators. And for the most part, they're very similar to what you see in normal math. These are all very important things. And now, you guys are capable of creating a lot more programs than you realize. You want your code to be easily legible or easily readable. That's why we tend to write it like this. It's a little more spread out. A lot of you guys probably were a little frustrated with error messages and things like that. So I want you guys to try and read those error messages because the purpose of the error messages is to tell you exactly what's wrong with your program, what's causing it, and where the problem is. Just like um, how logic operators work, you can kind of read them like a sentence. These are literally English words, and, not, and or. And they work exactly like you think. This code will run if this condition is false, and this condition is true. And then the else statement just runs if all of these conditions were false. You guys are going to be creating a number guessing game in which the computer is going to guess your number. The amount of Python modules available out there is just immense. And the amount of things you can do with Python is equally immense. So you guys have to understand there's so much stuff available to you guys. If you just take the effort to try and learn it, you can create amazing things without that much effort or without that much time. At the beginning of this class, most of you guys, some of you had some experience, but most of you guys had absolutely no knowledge of Python. But now, you guys have learned data types, typecasting, map operators, bridging to the console, getting input from the user, comments, variables, logic operators, if, elif, and else statements, nested if statements, logic keywords, while loops, function usage, and what modules are. You guys learned all of this in just five one-hour classes. And think about that, right? If you guys could learn this much in such a short amount of time, how much more can you learn if you guys commit to it in your own free time, right? Um, and that's how I learned. I learned completely on my own. I didn't even have a class or anything. At first, I was just messing around, and then I was reading off the tutorials and things like that. Eventually, I came to understand the code I'm writing, and now here I am today, I understand everything I do, I can create all kinds of things. You guys can be just like that. So the point I'm trying to make here for you guys is that right now, you guys are at the very tip top of a very, very big iceberg. And why I'm calling it an iceberg is because what you guys see right now is a very small part of the whole thing. There's so much more you guys are capable of that you guys haven't tapped yet. And if you guys put that energy into it, you can get there. And this is just Python. You guys have only looked at Python so far. Think about it like this. You're in a whole ocean of icebergs. There's all kinds of different opportunities in this space. There's Python, there's JavaScript, web development, there's a bunch of different programming languages, there's Rust, there's Java, um, so many different opportunities for it. And all of these have tons of tutorials available for you guys, tons of documentation. All of you guys are capable of learning these things on your own. And all of these icebergs, so-called, have so many different things you can make. I just showed you a very tiny part of one very big part of the programming community in this five class um, lesson, or rather this five lesson class. Um, so how can we learn more? Um, Self-learning is key here. You guys, so far, have just been coming to this class, but now that you guys have gotten a taste of what Python and programming in general can do, what I want you guys to do is to go home and on your own, try and learn more, try and build upon what you guys have, have learned so far. Now, again, class is not over yet, but um, there's a lot that you guys have learned and a lot more that you guys can learn. And um, so I want you guys to go and research different things, right? I want you to research what else is there about Python that you guys don't know yet. And I'm actually gonna give, be giving you a note sheet with a bunch of helpful websites for you and even a list of topics that you guys probably should continue learning after this. Um, and I want you guys to experiment, right? When you guys write a program, I want you guys to change, to change things around. See what happens if you change part of your program here or add something here. And I, most of all, you guys will learn the most if you're having fun while doing it. If you guys create whatever comes to your mind, you're going to really enjoy it. Because whatever you make is whatever you want to make. And you guys will be learning while doing it.